yeah, yeah, welcome, and yeah, welcome back to a continuation of my Ralph Lauren collection so far, part two. We got a few new pieces. I actually started breaking them down into categories to try to make it make sense. Throughout the video, we're gonna go through the categories. We're gonna check out some of my new cops. So we're going to start off with one of the categories that I decided to roll with. You know, so I'm like, you know, I got to make it make sense some kind of way. So I figure I go with the Eagles, you know, being as though I'm from Philly. But aside from that, you know, it's a majestic bird as well respected. So I went with the Eagles, right? Here we go right here. We got um, the Ralph Lauren superior quality. Once again, the superior quality, right? They always going to give you superior quality every time, without question. You know what I'm saying? We got the um, guaranteed superior quality. You know what I mean? Dry goods and supplies. Um, the dry goods and supplies, I think that might be a part of the, um, the outdoors, outdoorsmen. I'm not sure, but I have noticed it in my travels, right? So, you know, it's a short sleeve shirt, a little summertime situation, spring situation. You know what I mean? Classic fit for that extra room, you know what I mean? You gotta have that extra room that we have here. Home of the Brave, Ralph Lauren. Got the crust there. Got some numbers that I have no idea at this moment what they represent, but we will find out because I'm all about, you know, studying and understanding what's going on, what I got on my back. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure y'all feel the same way. Got the eagle there with the shield. I'm not sure if that's a shield or a crust. I think the crusts are different from... Um, from reading uh, the polo shirt book, it gave me an understanding that, you know, this might just be the shield, right? So we're going to carry on, you know what I mean? It's a long sleeve situation. Embroidered, you know, I like the embroideds. You know what I mean? Look at that right there. That's nice, right? Look at the detail on that. Another shield, you know, our band of glory. What's that? Two RLs, RL and Co. Of course, the 67. That's nice, right? Well put together. You know, some of these pieces are aged. I bought some of these Johns through, um, you know, resale sites. Didn't really pay a lot for them because I'm not into paying a whole lot for clothes. But I do like nice quality clothes, you know what I mean? Got the Polo RL Ralph Lauren. The five star, like five star general situation, the RL. There it is again with the shield. You know what I'm saying? Established in 1967. You know what I mean? Things of that nature. This is something new, something new, but something old, because um, I know the last video, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out, but um, I had an American Living shirt on the last video, um, so I found another American Living piece, which is a Henley, which is like one of my favorite casual shirts that I like to wear, calm and cool, you know what I mean, easy breezy. American living. 
You know what I mean? Of course, with the eagle on there. But you know, as you stretch it out a little bit, you get to see us see us a nice design on it. There we got the um the American leather. You know what I mean? American leather. But it has a nice eagle on it. I thought this joint was kind of tough. Let me see if I can stretch this out for the people. You know what I mean? Got the eagle on there. You know? Trademark. Trademark. The eagle with the two flags. You know, with the Americana flags, the New York. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of cool. I like it. It's a cream color. You know what I mean? I got it at a nice price. Um, let's carry on. All right. And we have this shirt right here. It's a rugby. Of course, you know I like my rugbies. It's kind of reminiscent of like a Civil War type situation. I don't know um, exactly if that's what it's supposed to represent. But at least in my head, that's how I'll be looking at it. You know what I'm saying? So... You have the um, Ralph Lauren on the side here. Of course, the texture of the flag is like, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It feel like actual flag material. You know what I'm saying? With the 6-7. Bust it open one time. Y'all got to pardon me. You know, I'm one-handed anything. The one-handed bandit. You know what I'm saying? Got the 6-7. Texture of that is nice too. It's like beaten and worn, so that's what make me think about like the Civil War type vibes. You know what I mean? Of course, with the uh, shield once again, the flag, the stars and stripes, the RL six seven. You know, this is actually a, a polo jeans coat. You know, so you know we do various d designers within the brand you know it's a nice piece gray you know what i mean wear with something something simple some white slacks some pants you know what i mean or some denims or some shorts you know what i mean so let's carry on we have the um i believe this is another chambray shirt right i gotta make sure i'm saying this right because, you know, you never know who's going to be in the comments. So we got to come correct the first time. You know, got the E Pluribus Unum. You know, I'm not sure if that's Greek or Roman. But we have the eagle once again, and we also have the shield. So you see where I'm going with this, right? New York, Polo, Ralph Lauren. Established 1967 once again with the flags all over the jaw, right? It's like flagged out. You know what I'm saying? Nice little cool shirt. The material is real cool. You know what I'm saying? It's not too heavy. So you could wear this in like maybe the fall or the spring. Even if the winter time you wanted to toss it on. You know what I mean? Layer it up or whatever the situation may be. You could do that as well. You know what I'm saying? Got the, the blue label with the uh, gold or the yellow, you know, so you could kind of tell which year this was created by the flag. I mean, pardon me, by the label. Yep. <clears throat> so we're going to carry on. We got the, uh, this is actually a t-shirt, you know. Large polo by Ralph Lauren. Black T. The Eagles once again rocking the Eagles. The trademark. You know what I'm saying? You know, we did the Roman numerals last time. I believe that that was 1967. And if not, then, you know, please correct me in the comments. You know, you know there's nothing wrong with a little correction. You know, we, we got to do this the right way. So, got the fresh tea. It's used, but it's clean. You know what I mean? I, I keep my stuff pretty much clean for the most part. And when it's time to get it on, when it's time to put it on, 
I press it off, you know what I'm saying? Only thing pressed about me is my clothes, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to carry on with that. This is actually a long sleeve tee hoodie, right? We're going to move this out the way one time for the one time. The polo, Ralph Lauren, land of the free. Made to inspire, Ralph Lauren. You know what I'm saying? There's some nice detail in a few of these items. You know, even though they use, you know, they still got a nice look to them. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, when Ralph made his clothes, he made it so as it ages, it still gives you a nice little look to it. All right? It's long sleeve. Long sleeve. You know what I mean? Got the pocket there. Same type of design. Land of the free. With the eagle situation, you know, with the printed with the with the printed press tag, you know, tag free, you know, it's nice and casual. You can wear this on a cool night. You can wear this with shorts. You can wear this with sweatpants. You can wear it with jeans. You know, you can style it how you want to style it. You can layer it. You can do whatever you want to do for real, for real. We're gonna keep it real. This is a denim and supply shirt I actually got. On a lot situation, like a bunch of a uh, denim and supply tees for the low, you know, for the low, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is not really one that I will wear, I probably wear it around the house on some casual, calm, cool situation, but um, it's still representing the thing. We actually, you know, we got the, the shield once again, we have some Latin. Now, I said it was Roman or Latin or, or Spanish. I'm not really sure, but I, I believe it might be Latin. Exodus Acta Probat. I don't know. I hope I ain't conjuring up no spirits by saying that stuff. But, um, okay. Sixth anniversary since 1967. We got some more numbers here. Anybody is familiar with the numbers that are on the shirts, please let me know. You know, because I would like to be informed on, you know, what it is that the numbers represent so it's like a anchor I, I believe that's an anchor some kind of bird here I don't know if it's a phoenix or an eagle we got a nice little design going around yes yeah, an anchor okay see the anchor there so we're gonna carry on and uh, this is actually a t-shirt this is a nice cool t-shirt to wear um, you can layer it as well. I'm not sure of the material that it's made of, but it's really soft and it's stretchy. Mm-hmm. You got the uh, polo trademark, of course. The shield, once again, fine quality, outdoor goods, New York, right? You know. And on the front, we have, once again... The shield with the fine quality outdoor goods. Polo. You know what I mean? A little weather beaten, but I still give it rhythm. All right? So that was the flags and shields and the eagles, right? So we're going to carry on. I think we got some more, too. I might have missed something. All right. All right, all right. So now we go to the polos, the short sleeve polo shirts. Grab the few. Not a lot. You know, got the yellow horse, the gold or yellow. I'm not sure. I'm kind of colorblind, right? But it's nice colors on this shirt. You know what I mean? Um, I was reading in the book that it's uh, 1,100 threads in each horse. 1,100 threads in each horse, right? That's kind of fly, right? I guess that's something inf informative to know, right? If you a low head, if you a collector. This is a new piece right here I just grabbed maybe like a month or two ago. 
You know, I like the embroid situations. I'm gonna open this out for y'all. Cause it's got a nice, nice little bit of detail to it. See the cross arrows with the R. Of course, the New York. Ralph always represent where he come from. That's that's one thing I give him props for. Got the 67. I think we got something else down here on the on the on the deacon on the down low, John. Polo RL. Of course, the establishment. Dry goods. Supplies, of course. All right. Now I believe it's a little bit of something something going on in the collar. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's check it out. Yep. And this is a classic fit. So it's a little roomy. And that's fine. That's fine with me. I'm a slim dude. But, you know, I don't be liking my clothes to be, like, super snug. You know? I'm not really that kind of boy. So, of course, you got the, um... The RL with the five right there. And then you got this ridiculously nice little situation going on in the back. You know? The polo. The PC. You know, we don't play PC, but we're pretty cool. You know what I mean? The RL, the 1967. It's like a wind vane. And it's like an embroidered situation. That's fly, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. You know what I mean? I like them 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 shirts with all oh, can't forget about the collar. They got a little bit of Stitching details within the collar. You know what I mean? A little up and down stitching. I'm not sure of the stitching. You know, I didn't go to school for um, so and so. It's a lot of stuff I don't know. You know what I mean? I try to educate myself on things that I'm interested in and even things that I'm not interested in because you gotta be well rounded out here. You know what I mean? So I think, uh, yeah, you got something down here going on. Got an R12, and uh, got something else going on down here too. It's nice, right? So I'll carry on. Now, in tradition of the um, the shields. I did get this shirt. This is a shirt I wear to work. At one time, I had to wear all black. Kind of threw me off because I was getting like multiple flavor shirts and all that. Then they hit us with the all black situation, so I had to, you know, conform. But um, it's a nice shirt, you know what I mean? Um, I believe this is polo, polo jeans cup. Yeah, you know, Ralph Lauren manufacturing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I believe it has a 6-7 going on on the side over here. Almost like that rugby that I showed you. A little rustic vibe. And they got the numbers going on. You know, the stitching. It's nice. You know what I'm saying? I got another. Now, this book, is a, this book is an interesting book. I had to slide to this real quick because they explain the different kinds of um, uh, stripes and, um, you know, the names of the stripes, but I wasn't prepared to uh, give that information in this video. I just was doing a little run through. I, I thought I'd get the people something nice, another video, because y'all was, uh, you know, showing love to the last video, so, you know. Got the green horse there, you know. Nothing too fancy about this shirt. You know what I mean? Got the 
classic, classic red horseman. You know what I mean? The red horseman there. You know, with the mallet and all that. Black, you know. You know, custom fit. You know, what I learned about custom fit and classic fit, you know, even if it's a little snug, if you press it real hard, it'll stretch out. Depending on the material that it's made of. I know they got Pima cotton, they got Peak, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. You know, if you if you press it out good enough with a nice amount of heat, it'll stretch it out to your liking. So this is like almost like a Easter type vibe with the pastel colors. Um, another red horseman. You know what I mean? Nice strong short sleeve situation, of course. You know? The large and the charge. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's the polos. So, let's move on. All right, all right. So, now we come to the button collar long sleeve shirts. Well, the long sleeve shirts with the collar. This is actually a rugby shirt. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that's rocking rugby. Um, I noticed a lot of collectors online and on YouTube. Y'all guys be having some nice pieces. Y'all be coming across some real, real, real rare pieces. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could say that I was around for the... For the time when rugby was was out, uh, so a lot of pieces I missed out on because you know at the time I, I ain't had the money for it. But keep it real, like um, you know, humbly lie, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be able to make purchases now, get things that I really like, and I'm appreciative and thankful for that. You know what I'm saying? So with my pieces that I grab, I try to get something that I would really wear. Or things that have like some kind of sentimental value. Um, but all in all, I'm a rocket. You know what I mean? Um, so this shirt is like, a, um, to me it's kind of festive because of the colors. They remind me of like Christmas or whatever. With the colors, you know, the green and the uh, red. And the uh, yellow. Um, but it's a nice shirt. It fits pretty good for a large. You know, sometimes when you get rugby, um, you got to go like a size up. Because it's made almost like a cust uh, custom fit or slim fit for some reason. For whatever reason. So, got me a denim supply. I like this. It's like kind of like western type cowboyish type vibe to me you know what i mean got the uh denim supply ralph lauren company ralph lauren clothing company you know what i mean nice colors you know what i'm saying real calm not too like extravaganza you know what i mean like i like nice colors but some of the colors be a little too gaudy for me and i don't be liking that much attention like um, so I like a little bit of muted colors from time to time. I like laid back colors, but I do like bright colors from time to time. Sometimes you got to shine on them. You know what I mean? I call my brother's son because he shine like one. You know what I mean? But I got the, the button flat pockets on the front. You know what I mean? It's nice. Then I'm going to supply. The largey, largey. Now this is a corduroy shirt. This is like a corduroy western type vibe. You know what I mean? Keep the stitching. Or the shoulder. That's nice, right? Got the um the pearl buttons. You know? Keep the cuff. You know what I mean? You know, now, I don't know. Like I thought that like mostly women shirts would have uh, these kind of buttons on them. So uh, anybody, let me know if this is like a man shirt or woman shirt. But I'm pretty sure that it's a man shirt. You know what I mean? 
shit. So, boom, boom, boom. Blah, 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 blah. Brown now, brown cow. Yeah. Got the throwback tag on there. The Polo Sport. Yeah, it's a Polo Sport shirt. How about that, right? Explorers, travelers, and adventurers. 100% cotton. Yeah. You know what I mean? Throwback Polo Sport, John. Who would have knew, right? Got the tri horse Kelly Green situation. Long sleeve. You know what I mean? Now, I know they got hats and sweatshirts and all that to go with this. You know, I've been on the hunt for them. Um, I haven't pulled the trigger on a few items, but I've been keeping them in my, my scope. You know, got the custom fit. Long sleeve. Kelly Green. You know what I mean? And we come to the uh, final button collar. Button up shirt. Uh, the Polo Ralph Lauren. The boxing situation. Now I know they got jackets and sweatshirts and hoodies and all that. Like I be trying to find them, Jones, but they be wanting a pretty penny for them. And then when you do find them, it may not really be in your size. I'm not really like one of them boys that just be grabbing stuff just to be having it. Like I really, my intentions are to wear it at one time at some point. So you know, I usually grab to to wear it. You know what I mean? Got the stitching on the pocket in the front. It's nice stitching. It's nice embroidery. It's like, you know. Boxing Club, 6769. NYC. The blue label. You know what I mean? I like this shirt. It's a little bit large, though. It's kind of roomy. So it's one of them type Jones. You could actually throw a hoodie on underneath and rock it like that if you wanted to. Or you could just wear it open like it's like a jacket shirt, a shacket. <laughs> All right, we're going to carry on. All right. So now we come to the scribbles. I decided to go with scribbles in my collection because I like the way they look. Um, scribbles or mallets, of course. With the polo mallets right this is short sleeve kind of like a rugby collar well it is a rugby collar right fresh white rugby collar nice stitching right here you know with the gold with the gold embroidered scribble that's classy you know what i'm saying that's nice so then we go to the, um, now I, I had to repair this John right here. This John was like, it was, um, it caught my eye and I was like, oh no, I gotta, this, this was kind of like the beginning of me wanting to get scribble shirts. Cause I was like, this John look kind of crazy. Um, of course with the gold, with the mallets, of course, um, let's open it up a little bit. Get this John a little, uh. Kind of got like a like a football rugby rugby type padded collar situation to it. Padded, pardon me, padded shoulders, right? The padded shoulders. You know what I mean? This is really a heavy, a heavy rugby. This is really like a heavy, thick shirt. You know, this is the type of joint you definitely gonna rock. You know. When it's a little bit cooler, keep the elbow pads, you know, nice. You know what I mean? Nice color. You know, I'm not sure when, what year this came out. You know, usually we could tell by the uh, tag, because this joint, I put it in a dry cleaner. I had to get it, you know, mended. It was missing a button and it needed to be laundered. So we got that taken care of. You know, I feel like it's a respectful shirt, you know. Good to have in your arsenal. Whenever it's cold outside, you know, you could throw this joint on. You'll be cool. You might not even need no jacket or nothing like that with this joint on. You jumping in and out of whip. 
You know what I'm saying? But if you catching like public transportation or Uber, you definitely gonna need to throw something on. Depending on the season. You know, it's all about what you choose to do. Feel me? Alright. Let's carry on. And then I got this one. I like this John, but it's kinda to me it's kinda a little clownish. I have worn it. But it's kind of like the colors kind of remind me of like kind of like clownish type. You know, not saying that you a clown if you possess this shirt and you have it. You know what I mean? Like, you, do, it's just to me, I just feel that way about it. It's a custom fit. So it got a little snugness to it. But like I said, I'm a slim dude, so I could play it off. You know what I mean? Um, you know, multicolored. Going around the whole situation. Got the uh, gold. With the uh, with the green there, with the blue cuff bouncing off the front of the shirt, also the blue cuff, you know, got the red. The red on the back. You know what I'm saying? It's nice, right? But, you know, like I said, it's a little, it's a little wild for me, you know what I mean? To me. I still rock it, you know, but I just it just wouldn't really be my go to go to if I wanted to wear like a scribble shirt. But hey, I got it. I'm gonna wear it. You know how it is. So let's carry on. All right, so we're gonna come to my Indian heads that I found that I came across with the bundle that I was telling you guys about earlier in the video. It's like maybe like eight shirts for half a man. That wasn't bad to me, you know, because I really wasn't thinking about the Indian heads too much. I know that I had the patch in the first video, and I liked it. So I was like, well, I might as well continue on that. So I got a few Denim and Supply Indian head shirts. You know, I know they got the polo shirts, the t-shirts, and the... And the denim shirts with the, the whole design on the back with the Indians and all that. That's, this really fly, but I haven't ran across any that were my size that I wanted to grab. So I figured this was cool to start off with this, with the um, Denim and Supply Indian Head t-shirts. Now these are all t-shirts, Ron. You, you know what I'm saying? They are a little roomy, but you know, it's cool. It's cool to have a little spa show in your clothes. You know what I mean? Got this situation going on right here. Denim and Supply RL, you know, the majestic indigenous peoples, you know what I mean? You know, peep the design. Now, to my knowledge, I think Ralph might have got sued or something over some of the patterns that he was using or whatever like that, but you got to give the people they do respect, though, Ralph, you can't, you know what I mean? Or whoever it was that pulled the trigger and decided to use them without proper authorization. But, you know, so. Yeah. So, you know. It's a nice shirt, you know what I mean? We'll carry on. Got this show right here. This must be like the medicine man or the chief. You know what I'm saying? Because his hairdress is crazy. But people keep his hairdress, though. His hairdress got a lot going on, though. You know what I mean? Denim and Supply, Brooklyn, New York, quality goods, you know what I mean? You know Ralph gonna let you know he did it, you know what I mean? Bronx born, denim year, of course he got the denim year on there with the Roman numerals. You know what I mean? Handmade, finest, you know what I mean? Fly hairdress, you know what I mean? It's a little bit weathered, but, you know, it still get played. It's a nice red, though. Um, I'm not sure what, co what color red this is, but it's red. You know, I don't know if it might be scarlet. You know what I mean? Yep. Got the Archer, 
Then I'm gonna supply Ralph Lauren. You know I me? Mean? Holding the arrow, bow and arrow situation. Probably hunting. Probably about to kill a, a buffalo or something for the people. Take it back to the folks. Let them feast on that nourishment for the people. You know what I mean? And then here's another flag. I didn't leave it out from the flags, but I just figured being as though it's denim and supply, you know, just toss it with them. You know what I mean? With the embroidery. You know what I mean? Real quick, I wanted to put a little attention on this shirt right here. This shirt right here actually has some nostalgia to it because I could say back in like 95, I was a teenager and my brother and sister, they used to have all the fly clothes. So, you know, I used to take their stuff and rock it. Uh, my sister, she used to actually rock a lot of low at one time too. And um, she had this shirt. And I used to wear this John so much that the collar, the pinstripe collar, started to fray. I started to tear apart. Now, mind you, this was like 95. I was 15. That's when I used to go to parties and rap battles and stuff and be battling cats. And I used to always wear this John because this was like my armor. You know what I mean? And I had ran across it on one of the sites that I go to. And they gave me a respectful price for it. So I was like, I'm a grad of John. You know what I mean? Got a little got a little stitch work they did right here, but that's respectable because they use the same color. Um 25 years old, I believe this shirt is. Um still in respectful condition, you know what I mean? Definitely some um nostalgia to it. Shout out to my sister. Um, she never gave me any flack about it. I don't even think she knew that I was wearing it. She probably was on to the next at that point. You know, at that time, people was wearing low, heavy, and Philly um, all over pretty much. But, you know, low and Nordica and things of that nature. So she probably was on the, her next wave at the time. She wasn't paying me no mind. But, yeah, shout out to my sister. You know what I mean? And uh, we're going to carry on. Got a few more polo sport pieces. Just like a, a biking type situation, I believe. Like if you ride bikes or something like that. Um, this is a kind of a throwback. I'm not sure what year it came out, though. I want to say the 90s. Because I think I remember seeing this type of logo on low shirts back in the 90s. Um, maybe mid-90s, late-90s. The polo sport. The material on it is like, I'm not sure what kind of material this is. Oh, polyester. Okay. So it's like a soft vibe to it. You know what I mean? A little stripe situation going on with it. Uh, I believe it's something on it. Yep, there's something on the, on the sleeve. Got the polo sport on the sleeve. nice cool jump you know what I mean the material is real soft you know what I mean you can play this whenever you want to play it we're gonna keep it real you know what I mean it's really no set date but you know you don't want to wear nothing too heavy in the heat and too too cool when it's cold you know what I'm saying so we're gonna carry on this is like a sweater Sweater type sweatshirt situation. You got the embroidery. The flag there. Polo sport. Well, it's a nice sweater. No. 
Well, yeah, y'all get the gist. So we gonna carry on. All right, so now we come to the bears. Now, I usually watch a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of polo videos to get an understanding. Shout out to all the cats that's making videos on, on YouTube or whatever said have you. All the cats I follow on my Instagram page, they doing it right. Um, you know, I know it's a, 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 a different kind of feeling about bears with different collectors. Some people feel like they're not really all that thorough. Some people feel like they are a staple. I like them. You know, I like uh, I like the bears. I think they're cool. Um, so I grabbed a few bears. I got um, some sleep shirts. You know, I actually wear them Jones like in the field. You know what I mean? The, um, I believe it's the USA bear. I'm not sure. No. Uh, where is the USA bear? I thought I had one. He might be somewhere in the mix. But, uh, this is the denim bear. Uh, so I grabbed it. I grabbed the denim socks. The denim bear socks with it. You know what I mean? Try to flex it on the com, even though it's a sleep shirt. I do rock it on the street. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? I do what I do with my low. You know what I mean? Nice low, you know, stitched on bear. You know what I'm saying? Um, actually got the um, Sun Valley bear. You know, I know he just came out recently. Um, Sun Valley bear. I actually have some socks with the Sun Valley Bear on them as well, but I just ain't pull them out. I ain't really trying to dig for them Jones right now. I think I have the um, the hat, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yep, got the Sun Valley Bear hat. You know, it's different kinds of blue, but you know, you can make it work. I'm pretty sure that the uh, the same color blue that this is, maybe navy, is the same color as the socks that I have. So, you know, you can just play it off how you play it off. But, you know, do it like that. You know, like I said, these are sleep shirts. But, shoot, man, look, listen. It's a difference than wearing the sleep shirts on the street than wearing the pajama pants in the street like the actual pants. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I got this professional cat right here, you know. This was, I believe, one of the first ones that I grabbed. I just like the way that um, that feels right there, stitched in like that. You know what I mean? And then we got the uh, long sleeve classic fit martini bear shirt. Let me bust this open for y'all. Because I like this, you My lady friend, she picked this out for me. Or for like Depop or one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like since the last video that I did, I've been like <clears throat> on it a little bit heavier. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get pieces that really mean something that's really fly that I don't see a lot of people having. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really not one of them balls that just want to look like everybody else. You know, I want to have my own style, you know, and I feel like I do. But I'm pretty sure, you know, this is mass produced, so somebody's going to have it. But I try not to get the stuff that I see everybody wearing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you got the martini bear strewn across all up and through. You know what I mean? It's nice. Front to back. He's all over the place. He's in the mix. He's at the party. He's holding his drink. And he's not dropping it. He's a cool guy. Mm -hmm. So I actually grabbed some dress martini bear socks. But I could tell that the actual bear is a little bit different. Because his sweater is a little bit different than this guy's all black tuxedo type suit. Nevertheless, you know, they still partying. With a martini. <laughs> so, we're going to carry on with that. You know what I mean? Got the 
polo polo bear with his mallet and i believe this is the usa bear he he blinking he's like yo what up y'all you know i got this collegiate brother right here holding the football with the rugby on with the overcoat look like it might be tartan Now I'm not sure if this is the U the USA bear or the flag bear again, but he's like the denim bear. I'm not sure. He seemed like that might be his cousin. Um, I actually ran into a rep for Ralph Lauren and I gave him a suggestion, being as though I guess the 35th anniversary of the bears is coming up, that they should actually have all the names of all the particular bears somewhere that you could find out and learn the names of all the bears. You know, so if that pops up, then y'all know I might have been, I might have put the bug in the ball air. You know what I mean? This is actually a long sleeve situation, long sleeve tee. I just grabbed this from the outlet. Shout out to the outlet. Shout out to Philadelphia Mills, man. I like how they did it over, but at the same time, it's still clean. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can find stuff in there. You know what I mean? Got his little plaid hat on with the sweater. Now, I know they got a sweater like this online somewhere. So I actually grabbed the boxes to go with it. You know what I'm saying? The style on them on the low key, John. You know, because I'll be watching them low gooses on the deuces and they check you from head to toe. So you got to come correct. So I feel like as a collector and the person that wears low, you got to come correct with it. You know what I mean? Another martini bear. Short sleeve shirt. My daughter actually bought this for me for my birthday. You know what I mean? Shout out to my daughter. You know what I mean? He just hanging back, cooling. Not doing too much. Minding his business. Doing what he do best. And you got this guy. You know what I mean? With the P, with the boots on. I've seen these boots online. They kind of a throwback. But I think they might have brought them back out. And uh, we got the football bear. This is actually a hoodie. Shout out to Shan Low. You already know. You know what I mean? Got the pockets in there. You know what I mean? The concealed pockets. That's kind of fly. That's kind of cool, right? You know what I'm saying? Something different. But it got like a throwback tag on it, though. I thought that was interesting. The tag is throwback. It's not the gold and uh, blue. It's actually the, the white. Or is that silver? I'm not sure. I know the silver and blue was like the original tag, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that's the that's the Bears. Oh, wait, one more thing. All right. Shout out to my man, Reef, my old manager at my old job. He thought about me one day. It was like, I know my man, he, he like low like that. So he had scooped one of these joints from when they were doing inventory and it, and they had the um the, the things that come with the cologne, the gifts. And he had tossed this to me on the com. He actually left this at my station. And I was like, who leaves this on my station? I'm like, yo, what's up? So, shout out to Reef for this. I actually got a bear in the collection with the collection. You know what I mean? And I believe that came with the Cologne, Rouse Club Cologne. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shout out to him. Let's carry on. All right. So winding down, we're going to come to, um, I consider this like my outdoorsman type vibe, uh, part of the collection. Um, this is some new stuff that's coming out. They actually had a product knowledge meeting and I got to attend and they were speaking about the marina line that's coming out here in 2023 you know they always been driving they've been driving it for how how knows long i know who, who knows you know what i'm saying but i grabbed a piece you know i actually got some shorts some swim trunks coming i found on ebay with the uh key west theme to it you know what i mean the marina with the Marlins, of course, Deep Sea Expedition, Stock Island, Big Pine Key, Florida Bay, Marathon Key Largo, Ship Me 
yard, you know, Key West, of course, you know what I mean, got the splatters and splashes on it, you know what I mean, got the seahorse right there, with the 6-7, nice little vibe to it, you know what I mean, I believe it's something on the back, this is actually a classic fit, once again, roomy situation, yeah, it's a lot going on in the back. You know, got a little bit of knot action. Marine supply. There's another anchor. Ralph Lauren, 55, 56. Sugar Loaf Key. Grab this. It's another button collar, but I'll save this for later. I like the color orange, you know. You know, I could say I do it justice or do me justice, the color orange. This is a nice shirt, though. It's, it's nice and calm, even though it's bright. I consider this to be a calm orange. You know what I mean? Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, RLPC trademark. They got a little something going on up in here too, if I'm not mistaken. Right. It's interesting the stuff that they put on the collar. Like I be wanting to know what it's all about. Little calm, cool details that they throw up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't paying attention, you might miss it. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing about him. He'll do something like that real calm and low-key in the cut. Put something in there. And I got this here. It's a golf shirt. A lot of the golf shirts, they fit a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? A little more roomy, even though it says custom fit. Mm-mm. I believe some of the um some of the decoration on the shirt might be peeling because I'm not sure how old the shirt is. I think it says in the book. It might be in the book. It's the Hudson Valley, New York. You know. Man. Nice detail. Always with the detail. You can kind of see the horseman in there on a the calm coolie. Minding his business, doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? I believe that the, the buttons might say a little something too. Yeah. It's a nice shirt. Like, I've been trying to like grab things that catch my eye, but also, you know. Got this one right here. I saw this on a brother's video. Uh, I believe it was Sun Low. I think he might have had this on his video. But um, I was like, damn, that's what's up. I had um, grabbed that John too. It looked like a, it do, it looked like a, a paycheck. <laughs> it looked like a paycheck to me. Um, I'm not sure if this is a deer or an elk. You know. But it's a nice fitting shirt, you know. It's kind of, it's kind of got a little age to it because of the tag. I believe that's a little bit older than the other Johns that I have. But um, I like it. I like the green. I like the blue. You know what I mean? You could do it with blue, green, whatever way you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I got the denim supply hoodie. You know, this was nice. You know, I felt like, um, you know, I like this here. The tog I got, it's not a toggle, right? I'm not sure what they call that. 
But, um, you know, it's a nice sweatshirt, nice hoodie, you know, with the arrow. I like this this little detail right here. The, um, the stitching that comes across the, um, the sleeve. Then I'm in supply, of course. You know, a little hoodie joint, a little cool situation. You can actually wear this joint to the beach if you want to on a late night, walking on the beach with your lady. You know what I'm saying? And, um, of course, I got the corduroy. I got this for a good deal. The horseman with the colors, with the red, with the red polo and the hat on, the blue hat. You know, with the leather-ish zipper piece. You know what I mean? Nothing too crazy going on with this. It's just a a corduroy hoodie. It's really thin, though. It's not really like a thick, sweaty corduroy, like you just bombed out sweating that jaw. It's a really calm jaw. It's nice. You know what I mean? To do that joint with the um, corduroy bucket. Uh, the horseman is actually different, but I mean, really, who cares? Like, do we really got to be like super matchy matchy at this point? Like, do we really got to be them kind of old heads? Not necessarily. You know, got the corduroy bucket. It's calm and cool. You know what I mean? Got this for a good deal. You know, I actually. I actually don't be going all crazy when I be spending on my stuff because it's not really that deep to me. Um, speaking of the hats, real quick, we can run through them Johns. I grabbed the Camo John off eBay. You know what I mean? Camo John with the black horse. Um, got this <laughs> Farmer's Almanac. You know, trucker hat with the leather. Uh, leatherish type strap with the buckle you know i've seen cats rocking this joint heavy i wanted to get the t but the t sold out so fast i was like man they got they actually have a polo shirt with this tractor and symbol on the back i really just i'm just waiting for that joint to go down we'll keep it real i ain't really trying to pay that much for that joint <laughs> and i bought a um a 2020 olympic usa hat this was brand new i actually just took the tags off this john this is fresh because i got a lot of flag stuff so i figured you know might as well get a little might as well get a little john with that with that on there represent you know what i mean the 2020 olympics uh, and i believe that's it for the hats i grabbed a bucket you know another bucket you know, you gotta keep it keep your keep your bucket situation together. Keep the sun out your eyes. You already saw that. So now we got the sweat I got a sweater. The RL sweater. It's nice. I grabbed it for a deal from out of Macy's, but the only thing I don't like about it, I'm gonna keep it real, is when I grabbed it, the tag was coming off. I'm like, damn, what kind of quality is they giving you now you know what i'm saying like but i feel like it's a nice sweater it's pretty warm it's calm you know what i mean if you wanted to wear it by itself with a shirt underneath you can you can wear it with a button collar shirt underneath you know you can do it like that you can do it how you want to do it all right we got some slacks some blue slacks you know what i mean Polos out for Lauren. You know, just calm blue slacks. Minding their business, not bothering nobody. Fine tailoring. You know what I mean? It's good to have some slacks. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta be like jeans and sweatpants all the time, looking like you're going to practice. You know what I mean? Got some denim and supply. Camo shorts, distressed, you know, nothing real crazy going on with this, just shorts, you know, just shorts.
you know, nothing, nothing too particular on the inside, just a tag. That's some denim and supply jeans. A little tore up, but it's cool, you know. Nothing on the inside, you know. Nothing too crazy going on. And some more polo joints. You know, this is jean work. You know, denim flow. A little bit of stitching, stitching going on here. A little stitching, stitching going on there. As well as here. 